Hey, how's it going? Rob here. So Bosch have finally done it. They've bought out a brand new system that's kind of new, but kind of not new. So we got a bit to unpack here. So let's go through what they've just announced and what we'll see come into bikes imminently as well. In fact, some bike brands have already announced that they've got bikes coming out with all of this new kit built into it already. First off, Bosch have announced a new system, which they are saying is a new smart system and vision for e-mobility. And when they talk about e-mobility, they're talking about their whole cargo, trekking, electric mountain bikes, all of Bosch's electric bike systems. Let's go through each part individually. So first off, we've got a massive 750 watt hour power tube battery. Now this is a new internal battery that is the same width and height as the existing battery, but longer, so it contains more cells. And that puts it up to a massive 750 watt hours. Now it is heavier and larger than the existing 625 batteries. Uh, to give you an idea, the 625 battery weighs three and a half kilos. This weighs 4.4 kilos. So it's almost a kilo heavier, well, 900 grams heavier. So it's quite an extra bit of bulk, but if you need all day, even till the next day kind of battery, that 750 watt hour battery looks pretty cool. They've also got a new remote control and a new Kiox display. Now, this uh, this new remote, I, I have been, like hoping Bosch will do something new for ages because they are not the slickest. Uh, their previous ones aren't the slickest. The Purion's kind of like an old school black and white LCD. And the Kiox just wasn't that ergonomic in my experience. I didn't feel like it was easy. So this new one, take a look at this. It's called, um, well, it's just called a new handlebar remote and it looks radically different. In the pictures, it actually looks quite big and chunky and plasticky, but it's got new lights on it. It looks like it's easy to operate when you're riding the bike with those rocker buttons. You've got the up and down and the left and the right. And it's got five little LEDs on there that you can see your battery level. And also you can see the mode you're in with the little LED display. What do you think of this? I'm a little bit torn on this because I love that they've bought something new out, but it still to me doesn't look, it doesn't look super discreet. It looks quite, I don't know, there's something about it that looks quite, in your face. Although I've got a shot of it mounted on the bars on a bike, on a cube bike, and it looks fairly discreet. So I'm hoping when I see it in the flesh, it'll look kind of, yeah, it'll, it'll just look neat on the bike. But when I first saw the picture, I was like, damn, that looks, phew, that's massive. But yeah, fingers crossed, I'll have a bike soon and uh, we can check it out in the flesh. There's also this new display, a Kiox 300 display. So there's no buttons on it at all. The older Kiox was, uh, had a couple of buttons at the bottom and uh, this one is just the display all by itself and Bosch is saying that there's new mounting options as well so hopefully it doesn't need to be right in that kind of crash prone position if you go over the bars and drop the bike like some bikes are it was mounted quite high so hopefully we can get it like nicely uh, tucked away and finally there's a new app that allows you to completely customize your bike and your performance modes now Bosch have been like really behind the curve here because most other motor manufacturers have had some kind of way of you being able to go in and tailor the support mode, the assistance mode for years now. So they're kind of playing catch up, but this looks really neat. You can go in and um, just configure each individual riding mode to suit your, your own preference. So if you want to dial down turbo a little bit or dial up eco, it looks like you can do all of that. And that's fantastic. And finally, we're going to be able to do over the air updates with Bosch as well. So no more going to your dealer and being charged like £25 to get your e-bike firmware updated. So yes, Bosch, finally, we're going to have some kind of over-the-air updates. The massive caveat to all of this is it's not, none of it is backwards compatible. So you have to have a new bike for any of this to work, which totally sucks, to be honest with you. If you wanted to get a bigger battery or even the app, you, you can't do it on a bike that you might have bought one month ago. And I know things have to be updated and, and Bosch are kind of saying that they had to start somewhere. They had to, in order to progress, they had to stop 
and start over again and allow this all this new stuff to work together. Um, it, it required a, a brand new kind of connectivity, new ports, new wiring, um, new electronics, Bluetooth, all of that stuff. And none of it will work on existing bikes, which, yeah, I'm a bit gutted about because... Yeah, I've got a Trek rail just over there and yeah, it's going to be stuck forevermore with um, all of that hardware that as of yesterday was still really new. And yeah, I understand things have to start again and you have to kind of cut off old stuff to be able to innovate and develop new stuff. But I think, yeah, I think there's a lot of us that are going to be a little bit frustrated um, or disappointed that none of this cool new stuff is going to work on your existing bike. So Cube have already announced their Stereo 140 that's uh, coming out with all this new kit. Pole, who I already featured about a month ago here, have moved, they're so confident in this new Bosch system, they've moved from Bros that they just announced their new uh, Voima was going to have the Bros motor. They've ditched that and they've moved to the Bosch motor. They're so confident in this system and the support with Bosch and being able to go to local service centers that they're going to not use a Bros on their new bike. They're going to use this, which I think's pretty cool. And no doubt loads of other brands are going to come out like I think over the next few weeks and months, all the current Bosch players are gonna update for 2022 with this new system. So let's take a little look in a bit more detail on these new parts. So the 750 watt hour battery, bigger and heavier, but um, and has a new connector on it as well. So you can't even try and fudge it in the existing system. It's a new connector that connects into the motor, new charging system. And Bosch alluded to the fact that they will have new 625 watt hour and smaller batteries. So I don't think for this kind of ecosystem to work together, you're gonna to be forced to have that 750 watt hour battery because let's face it that's going to add nearly a kilo onto your bike so the trek rail over here for example would i want to add another kilo onto it for a little bit extra battery or 20 percent more battery not too sure i'm a bit mixed on that the new display looks yeah it does look much much neater and you can run your bike without a display. You don't need that display on the handlebars. So that's been one of the things I've hoped Bosch will do because you don't, not everyone wants a display. You don't always need it, especially if you're mountain biking and you know you come off your bike a little bit, it's just less to get broken. So I love the fact that you don't have to have the display on the handlebars if you don't want it. The new remote controller we've already touched on, it looks kind of, I'm, uh, I'm still on the fence about this. I don't know, for me, I'm minimalist. I love to have like nothing displaying on the bars. I, I love like what some of the brands are doing with just really minimalist designs, like tiny little human interface elements. And this is like almost the opposite of that. It's gonna be showing LEDs and yeah, it looks a bit chunky. So I'm on the fence about that at the moment. The new app is just, yeah, brilliant. And um, yeah, none of it, none of it is, is backwards compatible. So the motor, by the way, is virtually identical. The hardware, the gearing, Bosch is saying there's just some electrical connections within it that have changed slightly. So there's no performance changes on the Bosch CX motor. It's got the same 85 Newton meters of torque, um, same dimensions. Cosmetically on the outside, it's changed ever so slightly but for all intents and purposes Bosch is saying that the the performance of it is is identical there's there's no change at all inside um, other than some minor connectivity things the new app is going to do things like uh, activity tracking allow over-the-air updates you're going to be able to customize the riding modes it's going to have um, a, a, a new home screen and e-bike brands can configure the look of it pretty neat little touches as well and Bosch is saying that this is preparing e-bikes for the digital future so they talked a lot about uh over the air updates and new things that are going to be able to happen to complement the bike and the rider experience. New anti-theft stuff is coming as well. So they're talking a lot about the future and how they think that the future of uh, this new smart system is with like software and hardware updates. So it's good to see we're going to be able to remotely update these systems and uh, bikes will hit the market like imminently. So yeah, we've already seen this new Cube be announced. The Pole Voima has been announced in the new Bosch motor as well. So yeah, um, quick update for you. Let me know your thoughts. 
I really like the look of it. Um, there's parts that I'm kind of like on the fence with. I think it, it's a bit disappointing that none of it works with the existing hardware, but you know, you've got to stop development somewhere to move on to something else. So it is what it is. Let me know your thoughts below. And uh, uh, yeah, I'm interested to see what you guys think of it. Subscribe for weekly updates, then I will catch up with you soon.